Hello, it's March 25th, and today I want to tell you about one of the most important men in history you might never have heard of. I'm talking about Norman Borlaug, the Nobel Prize winning agricultural pioneer who was born on this day 103 years ago in 1914. Dr. Norman Borlaug is part of a special group of people who've earned not just the Nobel Prize, but also the Presidential Medal of Freedom and the Congressional Gold Medal. These folks are the Michael Phelps of humanitarians. You probably know stuff about all of them, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, Elie Wiesel, but chances are, unless you grew up walking fields, you might not know much about Norman Borlaug. That's a shame, because Dr. Borlaug single-handedly saved millions of people from starvation. Bold claims, I know, but Dr. Borlaug had a bold mission. He wanted to feed the world. Dr. Borlaug was born in a tiny, tiny place near a tiny, tiny town in Iowa on his grandfather's farm. He went to a one-room schoolhouse, whistled as he milked cows, and watched the crops around him grow with passion and curiosity. Coming out of the Great Depression, populations around the world were booming, even as agricultural production was slowing. It might seem strange now, but in the mid-20th century, folks tracking world population actually expected mass famine. So, after Dr. Borlaug studied plant diseases at the University of Minnesota, he moved to Mexico, where farmers were battling a fungus called wheat rust. Dr. Borlaug worked for four years, growing thousands of lines of wheat in two different ecosystems to breed a rust-resistant strain. When he did, the results spoke for themselves. Wheat production increased 600%. Mexico didn't just produce enough wheat to feed its people, it produced enough wheat to export to feed other people. Dr. Borlaug's contribution didn't end in Mexico. His wheat strains eliminated starvation in India as well. In less than 10 years, the country went from massive grain imports to soaring harvests that used schools as temporary granaries. In 1970, the Nobel Prize Committee recognized Dr. Borlaug's important work. Quote, more than any other single person of this age, he has helped provide bread for a hungry world, they wrote. The day of their announcement, Borlaug was working in a wheat field outside Mexico City. He wouldn't believe his wife. Someone's just pulling your leg, he said. Dr. Borlaug stayed impossibly humble. Through his life, he discovered 40 important strains of wheat. His students, Champion scientists he called hunger fighters, made advances in other crops and continue to help farmers all over the world. That's something producers across Nebraska understand. As the breadbasket of the world, we steward the land, push for technological advances, and feed the hungry without missing a day in the fields. Dr. Borlaug worked until he died at age 95. He never lost his love for the land. When wheat is ripening properly, he said to a biographer, you can hear the beards of the wheat rubbing together. It is a sweet whispering music that once you hear, you never forget. Today, we honor a man whose hard work fed the hungry and changed the world. Thanks, Dr. Borlaug.